Alright everyone, so now I'll show you the other PDF that we have over here. Render directly in ZBrush. Okay, so this PDF over here. And then uh, it contains these uh, six topics and then I'll go through each of these on a separate video. Okay, so let's get started. The first is to change the document size to high resolution. So when you open up the document, I want you to change it to 2007 for width, height 1006. And then we we'll press the resize. And then the, obviously to change to a high res resolution, there is different ways. Uh, another quick way is to press a double size and then we'll double the resolution, but it's not as def defined as the uh, other method where we key in the exact size. So uh, I'll prefer to show you the way where we key in the exact size to change to high res. Okay, the constraint proportions button is on the left here. So we, if we off it, we will change the uh, this uh, resolution to be more of exactly how we want without uh, limiting our proportions. And then when we press resize, it will ask you that uh, it's not an undoable operation. You press yes. When we being resized, you will see that the document is changed, but the image is is burned and baked as a 2D image on the canvas. It's something that is a bit funny in ZBrush. A lot of beginners don't understand why this is happening. So the, it has to do with edit mode again. And then uh, I guess the easiest way for me to tell you is just press Ctrl N, okay? Just press Ctrl N and then uh, we'll clear canvas. And then now we just left click and drag out once, okay? We have to be confident, drag out once and then you'll drag out the tool that we have over here. The model is actually now located on the left side. We have a tool. And then we'll just drag out the, the model here one time. And then you will press edit mode to go into a edit mode and then you will be in our edit mode again which is the mode that we should always be in and then uh, we can rotate to test it okay so that's how we uh, be able to uh, go back to edit mode after changing the document size so just keep in mind that uh, the you have to change the edit mode okay so how do we load this uh, earthquake model okay so you go to your uh, when you open up zbrush it should be here hold on when you open up ZBrush, yeah, you should be here. So what you need to do is you go to demo projects over here, demo projects, double click, and then you will see the earthquake model. So we will go into earthquake model to practice this exercise on your own, All right? So earthquake model is very cool because uh, it shows a full character which is uh, fully covered. And then the body count is very reasonable. It has a good size. You can take a look at all the different details that is there on just a model with 3 million, 3 million body count. So it's a very successful model. Okay. Uh, if you hold down shift left click on this brush over here, this brush is a, is the colorized brush. It's the body painting brush. So if you hold down shift left click, I'll off the body painting on all these tools here. So I'm going to off the brush on everything shift left click okay so everything becomes white color now which is what i want i want it to be white color for our render and i want all our renders to be just black and white gray color okay so everything shift left click you will off the color colorize is all off there's a, there's a colorize button here that you can see so i'm just offing all the colorize on the model so go to document change the width okay i'll off the Proportions first, change it to 2007 for the width, height will be 1006. Press enter and then I'll press resize. You press enter because just in case you didn't press enter, you'll change the value and then you didn't know. So I'll press resize, it's not undoable option. Yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. And now you see it's big. Okay, so if I try to rotate, uh, oh, Alfred, why is this happening? Well, this is it's weird, Alfred. So it, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, uh, you but uh, it's actually very normal. So ZBrush wants you to get used to this, all right? So when you see this, don't panic. Press Ctrl N on your keyboard, which clears the canvas. We change our document already. And then now we don't have it in edit mode. Now we have this tool selected. It's actually safe as a tool. So we just need to left click and drag it out once. Trust yourself, trust Alfred, drag it out once. Your edit mode will be back up, go into it. Then you're done. Okay. Let's say you still not confident. Okay. Let's say you're still not confident, and then somehow you went out again. Ah, how should I do? Press Control N, clear the canvas, drag out once, drag out once, go into edit mode. Be confident. Yes, I can do it. 
Okay, I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so now we are we are back in and uh, we have our document size at 2007. Uh, it's very beautiful. And then you, you can see if you zoom in and out, you start to lag a little bit because now it's slightly more high res. So now we can prep this for rendering because previously our canvas is still not prepped for rendering. Previously, the high resolution is really low. Now it's high res, so we can start rendering this. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.